Assalamualaikum students of grade two. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. I am your social studies teacher, Miss Asma, and today we are going to start the reading of our new chapter, unit number four, weather and the seasons. So uh, now come to first topic. The first topic is the weather and the seasons four point one. Hiba lives in Islamabad. In summer, the weather is sunny. It is hot and dry. The sky is blue and there are no clouds. In the monsoon, it is often wet. It is cloudy and there is a lot of rain in the monsoon. There can be thunder and lightning. लाइटनिंग का मतलब होता है बिजली चमकना सो इन द मूनसून इट इज ऑफन वेट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ रेन इन द मूनसून एंड देर कैन बी थंडर एंड देर कैन ऑल्सो बी लाइटनिंग इन ऑटम द वेदर गेट्स कूल सम लीव्स टर्न येलो और ऑरेंज एज यू कैन सी हेयर सम लीव्स टर्न येलो और ऑरेंज एंड दे फॉल फ्रॉम द ट्रीज इन ऑटम इन विंटर द वेदर इज cold there is even white frost on the ground and the people have to wear warm clothes ab ko abhi kaun sa weather chal raha hai students you all know that winter uh, jo hai wo chal raha hai and we have to wear the warm clothes in winter so in winter the weather is cold there is even white frost on the ground and people have to wear warm clothes in spring the weather gets warmer the grass is green and then hot dry summer come again now come to next topic 4.2 seasons and the months of the year the seasons are the times of the year and there are 12 months in a year their names are january february march april may june july august september october november and december as you can see here so in pakistan summer usually comes in april may and june as you can see here uh, summer comes in april may and june spring comes in february and march winter in uh, december and january autumn in november and october and monsoon in uh, july august and september so in pakistan summer usually comes in april may and june winter often comes in december and january the monsoon comes to different places at different times of year farmers need rain but sometimes floods wash away houses and crops floods kehte hain selab ko so farmers need rain to grow crops but sometimes floods come and they wash away houses and even crops the next topic is 4.3 north east south and west This is a map of Pakistan, and you have to point to the north, east, south, and west. As you can see here, this is a map of Pakistan, and this is south. This is north, then east and west. So, point to the mountains on the map. Now, where are the mountains on the map? These are the mountains. v shaped these are the mountains uh there are mountains in the north and west of pakistan and it is often cold in mountains as you all know that in hilly areas there are a lot of mountain and uh, it is very uh, and it is often cold in mountains so uh, there are mountains in the north and west of pakistan like uh, in north there is gilgit baltistan uh, and you can see the mountains here and in west uh, koita so you can also see the mountains in koita right so a uh, point to the deserts there are deserts in the south of pakistan now where is south this is south uh, right and there are deserts in the south of pakistan Uh, like in punjab and in sindh 
so it is usually dry in the deserts and uh, why it is uh, dry in the deserts because it doesn't rain much in deserts that's why the deserts are so dry now move to next topic 4.4 clothes in pakistan in different kinds of weather we wear different clothes as you all know rafi and zain live in karachi it is often hot and dry there they are wearing thin cotton clothes to keep cool as you can see here in this picture rafi and zain live in karachi and uh, it is often hot and dry in karachi so uh, they are wearing cotton clothes to keep them cool they have caps uh, sorry they have caps uh, on their heads to keep the sun out of their eyes right uh, now hiba often goes to the mountains bur it is very cold there oh as you can see here in this picture hiba uh, often goes to the mountains and it is very cold there she is wearing thick clothes to keep warm and a woolly hat to keep out of the wind to keep out the wind so this is your today's work today we have completed the reading of unit number 4 weather and seasons now what you have to do you have to read this chapter uh, at home i hope you understand that's it thank you